Take a look at this boring, bland bedroom. The not so master, master bedroom. Well, not anymore. We're creating a romantic haven using architectural details like a dramatic cathedral ceiling and thick fluted molding. And if that's not enough for you, our designer Michelle Carano's here to spice the whole plan up with a great design. Are you ready? I am. This is the place. Wow. Oh. Okay. The nice I'm just gonna chill. Room. I'm just gonna chill. What happened? I walked through a warm house and I just yeah. like entered the ice castle. <laughs> Be incredibly busy though. You have two small children. Yeah. Rebecca and I were living in Manhattan mm -hmm. and um, that was about two years ago when we found out we were expecting a, a baby. When we first got here, it was so funny. We were shell-shocked. We came from about 450 square feet. The home is beautiful downstairs. We've done so much work. We really, really worked on using the existing features in the house and making everything nice. We fixed up the kitchen, we did the dining room, and all the other bedrooms except for this one. We're very busy and that kind of slowed us down yeah. from the pace we were at with the rest of the house and that's why you know, timing couldn't have been better with you guys. So you guys are sort of looking for some sort of modern, loving, warm nest yeah. that you can spread your wings in. Absolutely. But still, you can probably see from the furniture that's already, it's already in the room that we, I still like antiques, but I have mm -hmm. with a modern taste to it. See, and so. you've got some beautiful pieces and they're from all different styles and we can actually take the ideas of those and put them in a modern way to make the whole room come together. So you'd like to reuse some of these things? Definitely. I love a challenge. Yeah. You love a challenge? I'm so excited. Well, speaking of challenges, let's go upstairs because I want to show you what we're going to do with your ceiling. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I'm speechless. And that doesn't happen very often. This is an amazing space. Like this is wild. So what I'm thinking, right, is we use some of the elements of design that you've already come up with. And we just bring them upstairs, starting with a cathedral ceiling. We can easily take out some of the ceiling joists, then reframe and repitch for a dramatic new cathedral ceiling, which will only cost us about $1,400. Doing the work ourselves is saving us about six and a half thousand dollars. That sounds awesome. fantastic. It yeah. sounds awesome. It'll increase the volume of your room. It's not taking away from any of the floor space and it's going to increase the value immensely. So what I would like to do is actually bring in about 16 inches, about a foot, so that you actually have a turn up the wall, across the ceiling, before you actually go into the cathedral. Okay, just to give you another architectural detail. We could run it straight off the walls, but then it'd look more like a barn. We want this to look like an absolute architectural element. Awesome. Yeah? yeah. That's gonna be great. So that's a fairly big element in this room, mm -hmm. but it doesn't stop there. If you have a look around here, see how all your molding is stopped? See how it stops into everything? Right. We're gonna demolish by ripping out all of your original baseboards and trim. What we're gonna have is something that continuously wraps around the room, going up, across, mitered, down, across the floor, up, around. We're using five inch thick fluted molding and installing it as baseboard, door, and window trim. This will cost us about $750. Oh, that Love sounds it. great. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be ultra modern, but with an element that is still sort of substantial to this home. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think that's incredible because I wanted to take all these beautiful pieces of furniture that you have in the room and then do some modern takes on it. Lucky for us, the Riscottis have some amazing existing furniture. I want to bring these pieces back in. It's also a great way to stretch our budget. By reusing this beautiful furniture, we can put most of the money toward the moldings and the ceiling. Okay, so let's talk color here. Ooh. This is the palette that I'm thinking about, and I wanted you guys to be able to pick which one that we're gonna go with. So what are you thinking about in here somewhere? Maybe around here? Do you like that one? Yeah. Yes. I think that's fantastic. We are going with a dark, rich color on the walls and white on the ceiling. By using such contrasting colors, we'll be emphasizing the architectural detail overhead. Also, we'll be making curtains and a custom padded headboard all out of the same neutral colored fabric. 
The fabric may be neutral, but the texture in it will give some much needed depth to the bedroom. This should be the focal wall. Awesome. You come in, you see the vault, you'll see the bed, you'll have the fabrics balancing this, and we'll rearrange the furniture that you have. I think it's gonna be beautiful. Are you ready to rip? We ready are ready to rip. Let's go! <laughs> Now guys, this might feel a little silly, but safety first, okay? When we take down the ceiling, there's gonna be a lot of harmful products. The insulation is not very good to breathe and you can get rather itchy. So that's why we're wearing the suits. What I want you guys to do is score around the outside perimeter of the wall with a box cutter. Mm -hmm. It's creating a nice join where we can tear away the paper and it doesn't damage the walls. Before you do any of this sort of work, it's very good to seal off the rest of the home because what people forget about are the vents. All the dust that comes down could enter this vent as soon as you turn on the air conditioning or the heating. It's going to suck it through and deliver it into every room of the house. Demo! Demo! Come on, Rascades! Hit it! Watch out below! Literally, biggest rip ever, rip and renew history. Great. Unbelievable stuff. The room looks five times the size. Gently, we have to try and take these off. Now, don't freak out if you do actually put a little dent in the wall, because the new moulding is going to be about five and a half inches. Wow. wow. Come on, Michelle, let's do it together. Ready? This is rip and renew. Woo! <laughs> Good job there, James. Coming up, an architectural detail for only $8. I never thought you could add moulding to a door like this. Stick around to find out how. This bedroom has been dramatically altered, and now it's time to add the architectural details. Day two at the Riscottis, biggest change ever. I mean, dead set, have a look around the room. We've taken the baseboard out, we've taken the door casing out, we've taken the window casing out, and the best thing ever, we've taken the ceiling out. Christian and I have been hard at work reframing this roof, and I'll tell you what, mate, good work so far. We've really come a long way. Now, are you starting to feel the change? Oh, absolutely. Okay. It's all coming together with the roof line changed. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives that much larger experience. Now, our new ceiling rafters are just two by fours. They don't have to take any load. All they've got to do is support the drywall and house where our new insulation bats are going to go. They're going to go in between each of the bays. So I wanted to work on the headboard while the guys are upstairs. Simple headboard, easy to make, and it's going to have an amazing impact in that room because you're going to have all this beautiful architecture. I really wanted the bed to be really prominent. There are really only three steps to this. You want to have the headboard to have a little bit of padding to it. So we're going to do a little bit of foam, a little bit of batting, and then the fabric, and we're going to staple it up. If we had gone out and bought a new upholstered headboard, it would have cost us $800 or more. Instead, we're making this custom headboard for less than $100. That's a huge savings. About right there? Yep. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah! Do you yeah. love it? <laughs> what do you think of the fabric? I love the fabric. I, it's got good texture to it, mm -hmm. and it's feminine, but a little bit masculine. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want in that room, because mm -hmm. it's for the both of you. That's true. Christian and I have headed out to find the unique molding we're installing throughout the bedroom. You know what, molding is kind of like painting. Without a nice piece to look at, you can't really get the feel of how it's gonna be in the room. So let's have a look around, see what we can find. There's so much to choose from, I don't even know where to start. Here's a little display board of all the different things. Mm. All right, you know, you got your crown molding, you got your baseboard, you got some of your chair rails. And also here, this is what we're looking for. What I wanna do is take something like fluted molding but not use it exactly for its purpose. So I want to get a nice big thick one. Nothing like this, I'm talking five or six inches. Wow. Yeah. 
They make that out of MDF because stuff like this is too expensive. You know, if you used hardwood, it'd be a crazy price. So let's go down the back because I think they have just what we're looking for. Great. You have those amazing pieces of furniture and I was saying that they're all from like the 17th century and the early 18th century. So I want to do this art piece that was done in the 17th century and the technique is called chinoiserie. And what it is basically, it's a lacquering of materials onto wood. Mm -hmm. So you can do it with fabric, you can do wood on top of wood, you can do metal or glass. What I did was I found a scarf in a really simple pattern. You've got the dragonfly, it has foliage, images of bamboo stems, and I thought this would be a great way of creating an art piece. I like how this fabric has picked up the color that's in the headboard we just made. Mm -hmm. And instead of just putting it in a frame and putting it on the wall and making it seem really flat, I wanted to mount it on this simple piece of plywood and then it'll give it a sculptural feel. This is the sort of stuff I'm talking about. Normally what you'd do is you'd have a standard piece of baseboard and then you'd have some casing, window casing, or door casing, the baseboard would run into the casing, look very standard, right. we've all seen it. What I'm gonna do is something completely unique. I wanna take a nice big piece of fluted molding like this, and I wanna run it continually around the room. Putting the fluted thick molding around the room creates an interesting architectural feature that ties the bottom of the room into the new contemporary feel overhead. That's gonna look awesome. It's gonna look sick. That is gonna look sick. It, it really is. And what I'd like to do is then take another piece and run some around the inset in the ceiling. Oh, I you never mentioned anything. I about. know, I keep some things in my back pocket. So let's grab a bunch of it, throw it in the truck, and get back to the house. Using MDF instead of pine is saving us about $4 per eight foot piece of molding. Remember the plain doors? Yes. They're gonna be plain no more, my friend. What I wanna do is run a six inch border using this molding around each of the four doors. So what I want you to do is use your box saw and your mitre box mm -hmm. and cut nice little 45s. You get cracking on that and I'll keep nailing these off. But this really will dress your door up and quite literally, this makeover costs us about $8. I never thought you could add molding to a door like this. I know, most people just want to throw them away. Build, build, build. Recycle, <laughs> recycle, recycle. It's all about being Rip and green. renew. Exactly. <laughs> Rip and renew. Do you want to learn how to vault your own ceiling in your very own home? Well, go to hgtv.com slash renew for all the details. Up next, I guarantee you've never seen molding used like this before. This is going to be one of the greatest transformations of molding you'll ever see. And later, could this possibly be the same room we started with? It's like a totally yeah. different experience. Don't miss it. Day three at the Riscotti's and things have really transformed into something wonderful. When having two babies made city living difficult, this young family moved to the Burbs, right into their bland master bedroom. Now, designer Michelle Carano and I are helping them create a romantic oasis. Now, dead set, have a look at the ceiling. We had to reframe it. We had to re-drywall it. We had to insulate it. We also had to spackle it, sand it. Huge job. But I think it looks beautiful. Next thing, paint comes on the walls. Paint all day. Paint all day. <laughs> now, after the paint's on, do you know what time it is, my friends? Molding time. Molding time. All right. Molding time. It is, because this is gonna be one of the greatest transformations of molding you'll ever see. Whoa! There's a deep color. As you can tell, it's gonna really highlight how high these ceilings are now with all that work that James did. You gotta highlight the architectural details. It's gonna really be offset against the trim too, because we haven't mm -hmm. put the trim in. Mm -hmm. That's gonna make a dramatic difference. I oh. love the color, and you know what? It's gonna go so well with everything else that we've done in the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. It's a modern color, but it's still traditional, which is pretty much what we're doing here. Excellent, so great. What you asked for. What do you think? 
Fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy we finally have color on the walls. Yeah. After two years of living here with bland, institutional white. <laughs>